The presence of liquid water at the base of the Martian polar caps has long been suspected but not observed. Researchers surveyed the Planum Austral region using the Marsis, Mars Advanced Radar for Subsurface and Ionosphere Sounding instrument a low-frequency radar on the Mars Express spacecraft. Radar profiles collected between May 2012 and December 2015 contain evidence of liquid water trapped below the ice of the South Polar layered deposits. Anomalously bright subsurface reflections are evident within a well-defined, 20-kilometer-wide zone centered at 193 degrees E, 81 degrees S, which is surrounded by much less reflective areas. Quantitative analysis of the radar signals shows that this bright feature has high relative dielectric permittivity, greater than 15, matching that of water-bearing materials. Researchers interpret this feature as a stable body of liquid water on Mars. The presence of liquid water at the base of the Martian polar caps was first hypothesized more than 30 years ago and has been inconclusively debated ever since. Radio echo sounding RES, is a suitable technique to resolve this dispute, because low frequency radars have been used extensively and successfully to detect liquid water at the bottom of terrestrial polar ice sheets. An interface between ice and water or alternatively between ice and water saturated sediments, produces bright radar reflections. The Mars Advanced Radar for Subsurface and Ionosphere Sounding Marsis, instrument on the Mars Express spacecraft is used to perform RES experiments. Marsis has surveyed the Martian subsurface for more than 12 years in search of evidence of liquid water. Strong basal echoes have been reported in an area close to the thickest part of the South Polar layered deposits, SPLD, Mars Southern Ice Cap. These features were interpreted as due to the propagation of the radar signals through a very cold layer of pure water ice having negligible attenuation. Anomalously bright reflections were subsequently detected in other areas of the SPLD. On Earth the interpretation of radar data collected above the polar ice sheets is usually based on the combination of qualitative, the morphology of the bedrock, and quantitative, the reflected radar peak power, analyzes. The Marsis design, particularly the very large footprint, tilde 3 to 5 kilometers, does not provide high spatial resolution strongly limiting its ability to discriminate the presence of subglacial water bodies from the shape of the basal topography. Therefore, an unambiguous detection of liquid water at the base of the polar deposit requires a quantitative estimation of the relative dielectric permittivity, hereafter, permittivity, of the basal material, which determines the radar echo strength. Between the 29th of May 2012 and the 27th of December 2015, Marsis surveyed a 200 km wide area of Planum Austral, centered at 193 degrees E, 81 degrees S, which roughly corresponds to a previous study area. This area does not exhibit any peculiar characteristics either in topographic data from the Mars orbiter laser altimeter, molar or in the available orbital imagery, it is topographically flat, composed of water ice with 10 to 20 percent admixed dust, and seasonally covered by a very thin layer of CO2 ice that does not exceed one meter in thickness. In the same location, higher frequency radar observations performed by the shallow radar instrument on the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, revealed barely any internal layering in the SPLD and did not detect any basal echo, figure S1, in marked contrast with findings for the North Polar layer deposits and other regions of the SPLD. A, shaded relief map of Planum Austral, Mars, 
south of 75 degrees s latitude. The map was produced using the Muller topographic data set. The black square outlines the study area. B. Mosaic produced using infrared observations by the Themis, Thermal Emission Imaging System, camera, corresponding to the black square inches. A. South is up in the image. The red line marks the ground track of orbit 10737, corresponding to the radargram shown in figure 2A. The area consists mostly of featureless planes, except for a few large asymmetric polar scarps near the bottom right of B which suggest an outward sliding of the polar deposits.